And when I catch him red-handed, he will say, but I'm a king. I'm allowed. I'm a, nobody will say anything because I'm allowed to as a king. So what can I do? It's just me and my baby. Then when I, when I go and consult with older uh, Iyalajes and uh, older women in uh, Yerba culture, they will say, oh, Lori, just put it to God. You don't leave your husband in Yerba. You don't leave your husband's house. My father is Jamaican. My mother is British. I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada. Born and raised. I was not brought up in Jamaica. I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada. So I don't know anything about uh, you sleep in this room today and next woman sleep in this room today and this and, um, oh, the use charm to poison somebody or the use juju to poison. What do I, I didn't hear about juju and not till I came to Iwo. I don't know about these kind of things freedom in nigeria when it comes to kingship you don't have a freedom of speech yeah. oh you don't say anything you don't want the king's curse don't want the king to juju you you don't want so you're not free a lot of people know what happened between me and kabesi in that palace for that five months me and my baby walking along in legos with our luggage i had 60 minutes to pack four years of my life yeah. and he had police standing over me while I wasn't allowed to take any of my clothes, all my wigs, my makeup, my hair, he said to leave it. It's for the next Olori. This is our culture. What kind of life is this? So I'm just here in this part. Right now, what well, you guys are going through in isolation, I went through four years of isolation. Mm. I did sit in the palace from morning to night, wait till they bring Nepa. When they bring Nepa, oh, thank you, God, they've brought Nepa because we didn't have a gen. <laughs> Who is the enemy? Them! Who is them? The enemy! Who is the enemy? Them! Who is them? The enemy! What are those things you saw in the palace? I mean, especially when you are pregnant, were there kind of, uh, uh, did you face some kind of spiritual, right? did you face some spiritual challenges and all that? And uh, what are the psycholo psychological challenges you face? Because in Yoruba land, we believe that, oh, when you're in that kind of environment, they want to attack you, uh, they want to get you out of the way, and a lot of spiritual hallucination, all that, you know. What was the experience like in the palace? Because we have a, a, a proverb in Yoruba that Ileola, uh, Ile uh, 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 that that is the, uh, the wealthy home is a thorny environment. I will say this: <sighs> I'm still even suffering from the traumatic experience of living in that palace for four years. Imagine that you're with somebody. I don't. I feel like I've said too much, and I've said past my boundary. No, you've not said too much, really, because we want you to also give us the insights. Because I'm looking at a situation whereby you might be able to save a lot of young people from being victims. I mean, we're talking about someone who's supposed to be uh, the, 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 the uh, what they call it the the, 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 the the image of Yoruba who's supposed to be an epitome of culture and uh, maturity. And every time we read about him, it's about his beating someone in the palace is giving somebody blow is is dancing some uh, very awkward dancing steps or is saying some very horrible trashy things or you know everything around you for my husband is nose diving is about abusing people is always in the negative so i want to know how you were able to escape it because from what you said now there was a time you were even advised to bought your wonderful baby so what were the spiritual challenge like what are the psychological challenge like your highness I will just say this, in that palace, it was just me, my God, and my baby. Mm. It was just three of us, me, God, and my child. Mm. Again, you know, even sometimes I look at other Oloris, 
in your balance you know olori naomi olori um ola from you uh from oyo you know beautiful oloris and they have their moms their sisters their families they have support you know i had no support you know being with enoba that imagine i will catch him sleeping around i caught him in my bed on top of a 13 year old girl caught him live 13 year old girl that's that's that, 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 that's humiliation to you your highness and his excuses i'm a king and i'm allowed i'm allowed to do these things and it's you know when i met him i even expressed that i'm not interested in queenship because i'm not interested in all the concubines and all the other wives it's something that i know i cannot handle i'm not an um born african i'm of african descent but i'm not born in yoruba land so i'm not um, equipped for all the spiritual um uh, spiritual the physical the ba the bad eyes all the cattiness from the other wives i don't have mothers i don't have father i don't have anybody so it's just me against all these wives and all these girlfriends living in the palace with i told him i'm not interested in that yeah. and he told me i'm a canadian i'm from canada <laughs> that is him <laughs> That's all I was just saying to you. Like, why out of all the women you would pick a, a 13 year old? That's all I'm asking you. I'm not going to. I'm going to. I, I, I am. Um, that, that's. Um, I can't start over with that. Problem. With a 13 year old, you want to start over? Well, I, I should listen to me. And, and so you, a 15. But you're, I'm going back because you're saying to me you're not happy in the marriage. What did I do to you? you what did I do to you? Old. I didn't do anything I to you. To Canada, you were yeah, with why? How can you be sleeping with the damn maid? You're sleeping with the maid. Okay, will I be happy about everywhere we go in the town? I have to look in her ugly face everywhere. Do you think how, how that will make me feel? To, how do you think how, how do you think that makes me feel okay, then she, she can how do you die. think that should yeah she should go and die yeah, she, she should go and die yeah, yeah. she that's what she's wishing for us I don't yeah, so you go and tell the she had anything to spoil me I wasn't trying to spoil you did I was not yeah. trying to spoil you I was yeah. talking to my he father he told me he said oh I was talking to my father your wife your wife told me your, your wife was telling me this little, he was even making fun of you I wasn't thank well, you wow well, I'm you. really alone in this thank place thank you I have nobody <laughs> I'm really alone and I don't have nobody I know I wasn't trying, trying to spoil you how was I trying to spoil you he's the one that brought me here I wouldn't be here if that man didn't Civil, I'm civilized. I'm not from the bush. That is old way. I'm not interested in that. And when I catch him red-handed, he will say, "But I'm a king. I'm allowed. I'm a, nobody will say anything because I'm allowed to as a king. So what can I do? It's just me and my baby. Then when I when I go and consult with older uh, Iyalajes and uh, older women in uh, Yoruba culture, they will say, "Oh, Lori." just put it to god you don't leave your husband in here but you don't leave your husband's house you don't leave your husband's house you just put it to god it's not anything that our own mothers didn't go through mm. yeah so is this you did so so let me calm down <laughs> so they just keep persuading you to just face 
the problems face them not even to see uh, persuading but that's just the way it is it's not it's something that i met in your back call. no it's just the norm you know you, you which husband basically they're saying which husband doesn't cheat which which in your back culture is normal for a king to have many wives is normal but for me growing up in, in i my father is jamaican my mother is british i was born and raised in toronto canada born and raised i was not brought up in jamaica i was born and raised in toronto can so i don't know anything about uh, you sleep in this room today and next woman sleep in this room today and this and um oh the use charm to poison somebody or the use juju to poison what do i i didn't hear about juju and not till i came to iwo i don't know about these kind of things we don't talk about juju in canada we don't talk about to use charm to poison in canada we talk about love understanding women's rights uh women's freedom freedom of speech freedom in nigeria when it comes to kingship you don't have a freedom of speech yeah. oh you don't say anything you don't want the king's curse don't want the king to juju you you don't want so you're not free a lot of people know what happened between me and kabesi in that palace a lot of dignities a lot of high standing people in nigeria but they don't want to get involved why they, <laughs> they are his friends and uh, these are people want to get involved those are, those are the people we see you oh, uh, wine and dine with i mean oh i mean God. you know it's very what i went through i i will just have to say this in on record in front of the whole world god god of moses god of elijah i thank you i praise you because it's only god i don't look like what i went through for that five months, me and my baby walking along in Legos with our luggage, I had 60 minutes to pack four years of my life. And he had police standing over me while I wasn't allowed to take any of my clothes, all my wigs, my makeup, my hair. He said to leave it. It's for the next Olori. This is our culture. My clothes. Is that your bad culture that if Lori leaves, she must leave her clothes and her wigs for the next Olori to be wearing them? Is that how he chased you out of the palace? Yeah. I would allow you to take your personal, uh, personal effect. The only thing I was allowed to leave the palace with was the clothes I came to Nigeria with and the clothes that I had before he met me. But anything that I had... All of my native Ankaras, my Ophis, my coral beads, all of those things, I was not allowed to take them. He says it's for the next coming Olori. And it's like, um, I was taken advantage of a lot. A lot of things that happened in the palace, he would say, this is our culture. And I'd be like, this is not culture. Why will you name your son Odudua? Oh, it's you don't know the culture. You don't know culture. But people who are Yerbas that are close to me, that I know in Canada, they say that this is not a normal name, that this is not a name you name. Don't listen to them. They're jealous of you. They're all jealous of everybody that is, or if somebody advises me, if I, like if somebody comes to the palace with their wife and their wife is Yerba, and then we start talking and we, I start making a new friend that I like, and she will be advising me like, oh, Lori, are you getting salaries? Or do the market women come and bring stuff for you? And, you know, stuff in the culture that would be. And I'll be like, no. And she's like, why now? You're supposed to. You're a first class. Lawyer. So when I would go and talk to my husband, be like, um, babe, you know, they said that. Uh, who told you that? Uh, so and so's wife. Don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. <laughs> if you listen to them, you see what will happen to you. Don't listen to them. Don't listen. If you follow behind them, uh, ah, I will what? <laughs> if you follow behind them, don't listen to them. They are jealous of you. They want to be here. They want their candidates to be here. That's what he would. So then I have to stop talking to the people, and it's like. What kind of life is this? So I'm just here in this path. Right now, what well, you guys are going through in isolation, I went through four years of isolation. Mm. I did sit in the palace from morning to night, wait till they bring Nepa. When they bring Nepa, oh, thank you, God, they've brought Nepa because we didn't have a gen. <laughs> Senator Orilowo, thank you for the generator. <laughs> the palace. For the palace, we didn't have a gen. We had what we called 
the generator we were using, we called it a baby gen because we can only on that gen at seven o'clock. And when you on that gen, you have to turn off the freezer, you have to turn off the fridge, you have to turn off anything. You can only turn on the lights and the fan. You can't even on AC. That's how I lived for four years. But everybody that will come to the palace, they will see me wearing my jalamias that I bought at Balagoon Markets. They will say, oh, oh, Larry, I trust that you're enjoying. You're enjoying our king. <laughs> and yeah, and you're just living in bondage. And I'm just living in a f bondage. <laughs> I'm living in a cage. We have two fence and we have eight SPU armed police that live with us. Eight SPU armed police that follow us everywhere we go. This king went and told everybody that he caught me red-handed on top of a man. He caught, this is why he put us out. Your husband? <laughs> the Olu of the whole land. That he caught you on a man? Yeah, he said he caught me red-handed. I would tell everybody what happened. You know, okay? It came out that he was sleeping with the maid. Fine. I still for, turned a blind eye to it. This is two weeks before being ex, um, expedited out of the palace i confronted him well oh, you're sleeping. i was very uh, erratic emotional why wow, you're sleeping with the maid so everywhere i go i have to look at her and uh, you know it's like you know what yes when you're sleep even he was sleeping with one girl that the, the mom is selling tatashe outside the palace hmm. you know like yeah in atarodo and tatashe uh, atarodo tatashe tomato outside the palace and that's who you bring inside my bed now when these girls see me they're looking at me like i'm their mates <laughs> Oh, I'm disappointed, Your Highness. I'm very disappointed, Your Highness. Do you understand? Yeah. And I always forgive. I always forgive. I confronted him about the issue with the maid. He said, oh, so do you, do you want her to die? But that's what she wants for us. Anyone that is sleeping with the king, they want to get the person out of the way. Yeah. You understand? So you are putting me in a danger. Spiritual. I'm done. And uh, spiritual everything. You understand? So he now says, oh, is it loud? Ba 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 ba. Two weeks later now, after this confrontation, two weeks later, I have a friend that is based in UAE. I haven't seen this friend since 2013. I haven't seen him since 2000. I celebrated my birthday in September on Instagram. I posted happy birthday to me. And he sent me a message. Oh, happy birthday. What's your WhatsApp? Ba ba ba. I haven't talked to him in years. I sent him my WhatsApp. Started chatting. He was just chatting me up. Oh, how are you? How is Christmas? You know, I've seen on your pictures, you're looking very sad. Tried to make, I was posting videos on Instagram. At the, so he's like, try, try to post more videos. If that will make you happy, make more videos. You know, um, I always love you. In Canada, you have friends. Your friends will say they love you. You can be my good friend from 15 years and I can say, I love you. Yes. You're my friend. Yeah. You understand? He said, I love you. You're my babe. Just try to make yourself happy. We know it's not easy. Oluo saw the message. Ah, she has a boyfriend and you're sending him videos of your body and blah, 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 blah. And you're going to meet up with him because it's Christmas time. This is, I got put out of the palace December 15th. So we were just talking about Christmas. Oh, are you coming? He's based in UAE. Are you coming to Legos for Christmas or Abuja? Legos or Abuja? Oh, Legos first. Oh, okay, so we should meet up. He's not the first friend that I have that I've chatted to on WhatsApp that I've introduced to Oluo. I have another friend based in Turkey that I, he came to meet us in Legos. Mm. And I, I had the same conversation with him. Oh, you know, you're my friend. I always love you. Uh, can I come and meet you guys in Legos? And he came and met us in Legos. Now this one, he, oh, she has a boyfriend. And da, 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 da. So when he saw the message, he started beating me. Oh, beat you? He beat me up so bad. This, this was the last beating that I just said, you know what, forget it. Because he was beating me for four years. And it's in you for four years, ma. When a How did you escape it? You and just. You did, you did, did, have you ever fainted? You know, the first time, I won't even elaborate. I don't want to. No, you have to tell us because we have to know, and your rights must be very protected. You know what? Your highness. It's very yes. embarrassing for me because a lot of people look at me, they look at my pictures. Oh, she's so lovely. She's so beautiful. She's so lucky. I met a little girl in Lagos one day with her parents. And the little girl said to me, when I grow up, I want to be Olori. I want to be queen like you. And I yeah. said, no. I said, no. You don't want to be any man's. Don't aspire to be a man's wife. 
go to school. What do you like to do in school? I want to be a teacher. Then be a teacher. A married person that you love. If he becomes king, he becomes king. If it's your destiny, it's your destiny. But don't say you want to marry a king. It's not easy. It's yeah. not something I want to all you girls that you want to be Olori. <laughs> if you marry a king, you know, there's kings that I shouldn't even say that. Let me retract my steps because being Olori is great when you are married to a um, someone who's mature, someone who's classy, someone who's elegant, someone who doesn't behave like a ramscallion. You understand? You know, there's kings that are very well respected and well dignified and i'm sure their queens are enjoying you understand there's kings we just watched a popular legos monarch take a second wife did he now kick his wife and his princesses out no and say ah she tried to kill me so he can marry somebody else he, no. no 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 because i'm not nigerian because i'm not yerba my mom is not yerba i'm not so my rights are taken away from me well Will, 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 will any other king, king in your balance tell the wife and the, and the crown prince to leave the palace because you've seen somebody else you want to marry? You understand? Right, right, sorry, your, your, your Highness, sorry to I cut in. Uh, one of the allegations we've all heard from Sosie when we're investigating is that they said because he wanted to take a new wife from the north. We're actually coming to the issue of beating because I wanted to expand shit on that. They said because he wanted to marry a new queen from the northern part. You know, he called himself Emia, and that was why you got angry with him, that you started giving him, nagging him, and you didn't want him to marry, actually. Is that true? I will say this. I will say this. He's very obsessed with anything with the north. Um, you know, there's one time he said to me that the North is what controls Nigerian, N Nigeria. The Nigeria as a whole is controlled by the North. So even me, I've watched him do everything that he can to align himself. Um, as far as him wanting to marry a princess from the North, I know that he wants to marry into a wealthy Northern family. He wants, basically, it's about keeping up with his mates. I don't want to say this on, but it, it is what it is. He's a popular monarch married into a well-known, respected northern family, and he wants to do the same. That's just what it, it is, what it is. And yeah, but I know, yeah, a lot of people believe that popular monarch you talk about is also his friend. That maybe he was trying to copy. Even, we won't talk about, but that's just, everything with this, with Oluo, he wants to keep up with his mates. He named his son Odudua. So are you trying to say your Baba Odudua? Who is um the... um the uh, top Yoruba monarch uh, of Ile Odudua. Who is that? Ojaja too. Uh, so are you trying to say you're, you want to, you're, you named your son Odudua, so you're trying to say your Baba Odudua. Even um, his imperial majesty uh, that you just mentioned does not refer to himself as Baba Odudua. That's the only of Ife, Oba Adeo Yogu. His, his imperial majesty imperial majesty D does he uh, refer to himself as uh, baba odudua no your highness no man i rest my case there, uh, there's things that there's a method behind the madness but are you angry that you wanted to take another wife i was of course who's not who any who's gonna not be upset about it i was upset about it but at the same time, because it's not what I signed up for. When I met you, you said you weren't interested in these things. But this is somebody that is controlled by money, popularity, and power. You want to be popular by all means. You know, you name your son Odudua. You put this crown on a woman's head that you now... Oluo was gone to, with his own mouth to say that... I was, I was coming to that really. I was coming. Let's, I was coming. let's put that. <laughs> you know? But you, you know, you name your, your son uh, Odudua you know just to uh, poke at another monarch you know you brought all the key, the princes from your town of iwo to now say a prince in iwo can now be only of ife to poke at another monarch you understand 
you, the princes of Iwo should focus on the royal stool of Iwo. I'm not trying to disrespect any of the princes of Iwo. I love Iwo. My son is from Iwo. But let's call a spade a spade. Focus on your own kingdom and let the, uh, the other monarch focus on his own. Why will you now go into this monarch's territory, fill up a whole bus and drive into uh, Ife to the ruling house to now nobody in the old his nobody's why are you rewriting this why is, it's not my it's not my business but it's my business because I, my son is a crown prince mm. but it's not my business but it's my business because i'm is when he does these crazy things they but um olori talk to you olori talk to him if i talk to you then you will be beating me yeah so <laughs> what, what, what should i do you understand mm. The, the the fact of him wanting to marry another wife again he wants to poke at the, oh you did this i can do it too at the sake of your family you understand and it's like to me a lot of people are like ah oh, but he's abandoned eight other children so why do you think he's not gonna abandon yours when i met him i didn't know that he abandoned eight other children because oluo was not honest mm. so i didn't need to put that out there because people will be like eh but he abandoned the other eight so why will you think your own is special i thought my own is special because he's a crowned prince born on his father's throne and according to your back culture that's a big deal mm. If correct me if I'm I'm not a historian. No, 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 you are tr you are trying. Yeah, yes, any boy, even from the Egyptian culture in the olden days, Egypt, one of the biggest and the most uh, respected civilization. Any child that is born on the throne is synonymous to reality. Yes, is it going to take over? So I really thought that okay, let me give this man a, the benefit of the doubt. Let me, we all as women, I will say this: we all believe the lies when our heart is hungry. Mm. My heart was hungry. I wanted, I was, he said he loved me and I believed him. You understand? Mm. So when he was, told me that my child would be different, I, and now he's abandoned me and my child, five months, no money, no food, no shelter. He provided a Air Ethiopia ticket for us to go back to Canada. Where do you want us to go back to Canada to? You don't have a house in Canada to put us. I have all our hotel bills, all our Uber bills. We don't live anywhere in Canada. We go to Canada once a year. We don't live anywhere. We don't stay anywhere. You don't have anything. So where were you shipping us uh, Air Ethiopia economy to go? He posted this on his Instagram and then tagged Instablog, tagged uh, Linda Akeji, tagged Jis Lover, a whole first class king. Why are you posting these things and then tagging blogs? Because you want to trend. You are using bad news to trend. He's, when I say these things to him, yeah, the news is news. That's what he says. Yeah, news is news. I even, I even begged him. It was uh, January 15th. I will never forget this day. I went into his DM in, a, in um, Instagram mm. because I had, to, I had to change my number from him okay. because he was calling me and harassing me. That's uh, why are you still in Nigeria? Nobody is going to want you. Nobody wants Olori. I'm the biggest thing that's ever happened to you. You will never meet anybody bigger than me. Your life is over. Just go back to Canada and you don't need to say anything and you don't need to. And I was like, please, hmm. you know, and then he used my SIM. He, he, <laughs> you just think I know. Say, <laughs> Olori, uh, your highness, you have to say it, ma. Please, please. We, we, are, we are learning. I had to throw my SIM card away because he set immigration on me and my son. Again? Set, no, he, he called immigration and told them that I'm here illegally, that I'm not his wife, and the document that I'm using, I'm not his wife, so they need to, I need to leave Nigeria. So he wanted you out by all means? He wanted me out by all means because I know a lot of things. You understand? <laughs> came to my hotel. I didn't tell one person where I was staying. I was staying at Radisson Blue. It was an engineer from Abuja. When he put me and my son on a bus and sent us out of the palace, an engineer from Abuja, God bless his soul, I won't call his name because he's well respected. Well respected. He now intervened and called the bus driver and said, please bring her and the baby to Radisson Blue. Let them cool off for two days. 
and that's how we ended up there and that is when all the he put out the statements oh don't do business with her she's no longer a queen you nobody should grant her respect towards this office nobody should do this so you're telling people it's okay to disrespect her disrespect her don't do business with her don't help her what kind of an evil man are you and i have a son and i didn't do anything to you what you're accusing me of i didn't do because when he kicked me out the palace now, all his friends, all these uh, popular monarchs, all his uh, dignity friends, uh -huh. what, what happened? Ah, we saw the news. What happened? Oh, she was texting her boyfriend. And okay. And what else? Oh, and she tried to kill me. Oh, and she's evil. You understand? Oh, my God. Tell the people the truth about what happened. You, as you saw a text message. Uh, somebody said they love me, and I didn't correct them. That was what happened. My friend said, I love you. Just try to be happy. You're always a smiling person. Your pictures look sad. You know, I'm coming to Nigeria for Christmas. Uh, I, I asked him, are you going to be in Lagos or Abuja? Then he went and, oh, look, she wants to meet up with him in Lagos and Abuja. We have 10 armed police that live with us i never went anywhere alone if i go to shop right or palms mall and i need to use toilet police will wait outside the door for me so it is not possible oh well, highly tailored I'm, yeah so you know this is monitored. this is why i needed i wouldn't have never said anything if oluo did the right thing okay i don't want to be with you anymore uh here's a house for you and the baby here's some money i will still take care of my responsibility or whatever then i won't come out here and be like oh this this but you're lying and you're telling people that you caught me on top of a man i tried to kill you so that you have reason not to take care of your son and not re like you don't like you've done with the other wife and you've done with this woman that helped you. You said that she tried to kill you. You went to Erek Beshola to mock this woman. To do you have they are very wicked. I need to say my part because you know it's going around to all these people and say, and I don't have contact for them. What about you asked me? What about all these dignitaries? You yes, were yeah, meeting yeah, with them, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, dining. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. No one has looked back and said, oh, la, oh, Lori, how are you and your baby? Are you guys okay? Where are you staying? No, but it is only to the same popular Lagos monarch. You know, uh, I was granted access to talk with him. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, January. Okay. And then there's another great imperial monarch that offered a great help to me and my baby my son wasn't in school my son is three years old he's gonna be four this year my son never ever went to school my son went to bowen primary crutch for two days and my son oluo removed that baby from school three years old my son only went to school for two days my son's greatest dream in life is to go to school and it was this monarch an imperial monarch, not Lagos monarch, don't get it twisted, that gave, that put my son in school. And one of my son attends one of the most best school here in Lagos. My son, since we left the palace, I will say my son's dream has been fulfilled to get an education. And this monarch, I will not even say his name because we all know Oluo. Ah, he's sleeping with my wife. Oh, she's, she's sleeping with him. Nobody wants Oluo's problem. That's why you will say now, oh, what happened to all those people you used no, no, no. to? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I want to ask you that. What is their rule? Because I was coming there really, and uh, one of the questions we sent your your PA is, uh, I think if you see the question, is that what is the role of his big friends? And uh, I think your PA was saying you won't want to talk about it, but I want to beg you now, your highness, that you should talk about it. The role of people, there is one that you went to his house that has so much car, Rolls Royce, and you dine and wine with his family, and the Oluo was even going near the car, and he was saying, ah, I am Bambi, I am Bambi, and he was saying all sort of things, and there are a lot of other ones that uh, powerful friends, senators, I mean, even uh, one is even the deputy uh, president of this country. A lot of them, he, he used their name to Tangul and Bangu. Mm -hmm. How did they react to you? Because you are the I only one. I haven't heard from any of them. I'm not, I can't believe it, man. I haven't uh, heard from any of them. Maybe you are not saying the truth, Your Highness. We are, are, you, are you serious, Your Highness? I can't believe it. I haven't heard from any of them. But at the same time, Masabe, I will say this in front of the world. You cannot blame them. You know? He's gone to destroy me. He said that I was a prostitute. 
He doesn't know me from before. He slept with me on the first night. Tell the people that this is why I have to just put embarrassments to the side and tell the world my story because these people that you're asking of all these top people, no one has reached out to me. No one has even said, how are you and your baby eating? But did you reach out, you try to reach out to some of them to tell them your own position? I mean, because the first thing that you need I is, care. Advised, is care. I was advised not to. Even the same one that you just mentioned, he recently went to their home. And I was advised, yeah, he, he just came here. He just we was just at the house of so-and-so. And the stuff that he said, just, uh, I advise you, just don't even. Anybody that Oluo talks to, you know, there's, there's, this, there's a one high dignitary person that I will use God. It's a couple. Yeah. They have a great title in Yerba land. It's a very high title. I don't want to say their name, but they know who they are. And they told me, you know, anybody, the Aluos called them to say great um, degrading thing about it. They said, oh, oh, Lori, don't look for anybody to help you. Because anybody who Oluo talks to about your issue, they won't, they won't look your side. Mm. And because of our culture, he's a king. And Oluo told me himself, he, he used to, when I left palace, he was, he was like, no one, you can go to media and say what you want to say. No one's going to believe you. I'm a king. I'm a king. Do you know what Kabesi means? It means I have the final say. But no one's going to, that's how he talks. So I was just, and that's why I didn't say anything for a long time. Because I was like, I'm not from here. I'm not. And then since the day he put me out the palace, it's like, is a whole army of women that I don't even know. I never seen them in my life that I just started attacking me, sending me messages, attacking me on social media. Oh, you're a whore, you're a prostitute, you're a bitch, you're, a, you're this. And you and you took all his money. I never saw, for the whole four years I was in Iwo, I've never seen you. So what do you know about what happened in our home? What do you know? I call them Oluo agents because they are just agents of destruction. You will now be online talking about me. I ate all this man's money. I'm a whore. I'm this. Where do you know me from? I've never been in the news a day in my life. In Toronto, they don't know me as what Oluo is describing me as. So... They don't even have your background story. They, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, you and don't even have your family history. No, no, I don't know anybody in Africa. So what do you know about me? You, the, you people that are har that are harassing me online and har sending me all these threats from Oluo, you people have probably never even been to Ibadan or even even been to uh, VI, much less you've never been to Canada. So what do you know about me to say that, oh, I was this, I was that? They are going off of what Oluo told them because it's a king. Ah, Kabesi, oh, she's bad. And she tried to kill me. Oh, God will punish her. And she's wicked. Oh, God punish her. So I have a million people saying God punish me for something that I did not do. <laughs> Do you understand? I understand your highness, ma'am. Mm. There was no poison. There was, there, even for me to leave the palace, there was no story when you, I learned about the story of the poison when every, when the other, when the whole public learned about it. Mm. I found out with you guys. I found out with you. I was, on the blogs. Yeah, on blogs. I was like, what? And I called him. I, I, I went and bought a SIM card and I called him and he has way it's not now he will say oh you see she changed her number I have no contact with he comes in my DM you can come in my DM and you can talk to me there's, there's no there's no he does not not have any contact for me he has contact for me but my SIM card I don't give him my phone number because he can use that to find my location that is how the immigration found my location I will go into the immigration issue. He wanted us out of Nigeria. He sent. He did a petition with the immigration of Nigeria to get us out of Nigeria. That's push you out. I had to seek legal representation. I had to get a lawyer. How are you able to escape that trauma? I had to get a lawyer. I had to get the. I had to. I had to seek legal counsel because I didn't know what to do. Immigration was uh, buying plane tickets for me and my son to go to Abuja. Do you know immigration to purchase your plane tickets to go to Abuja on Christmas Eve to go and meet the head of immigration on Christmas Eve? I was advised on a holiday. On a holiday, that was and people were starting to tell me if you go to Abuja, you will never come back with your son. That is when I started looking around for different lawyers. I need help. I don't know what's going on. And I'm scared. When my lawyer got down to the bottom of it, um, 
Mrs. Uh, Falana and Mr. Femi Falana, uh, Falana family, they stood by me through this. Great barista Femi Falano uh, is a very great lawyer. His wife, I approached his wife. That's a very wonderful woman. Yes, That's I approached his wife. I showed her all the scars on my body from when he beat me. I showed her a lot of um, th th things that I had. Uh, this is the person. I showed her a lot of things. And they agreed to help me. They agreed to her. We, me and my son had nothing. We had nothing. And they just helped me from just the goodness of their heart. You know? And when they got down to the bottom of it, the head of immigration, Ikoi, said, it was, uh, the Oluo called us and filed a petition. And that's why we went to go and see her. Because the Oluo... <laughs> so he's the one... <laughs> why are you filing a petition with immigration? What did I do? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And I wasn't going to media at that time. This is in December. This is two days after he put me out of the palace. He so, now So he wanted you push out of the palace and thrown into Toronto, Canada. Well, to nowhere. We don't nowhere. have a house. We don't have a car. Everybody is mocking me. Oh, Oluo, he has G-Wagon and he has yellow Lamborghini. You know that yellow Lamborghini that he stood up in front? He's taking pictures in this yellow Lamborghini. That Lamborghini, I will, the public, you need to know this. That Lamborghini belongs to a great professor, Dr. Professor Odidi in Toronto. He's a millionaire. He's a great professor. He came to pick us up and he used this G-Wagon to pick us up that day. And Oluo took a picture in the front of the gym and said, when I'm in Canada, I drive myself. And this, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Oluo, why are you doing this? It's, a, it's packaging. It's packaging. That is packaging. What is packaging? What is what does packaging mean? Yeah, don't. <laughs> this character is yellow Lamborghini. And now, when you go on YouTube, he used this picture of this yellow Lamborghini now to put this YouTube list together of uh, there's if you just king, you're right. the richest kings. So now number six on the list is Oluo of land, richest king in Nigeria. And he has yellow Lamborghini value. That's one billion. That's not your car. You don't have anything. <laughs> you don't have anything. Oh my God. So where are you sending us to? All of the senators, all of the honorables, all of you women that he's flirting with, uh, all of this one that is, uh, I won't call names. You all know who you are. Let me just say, either there's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Me, I feel so embarrassed. I feel like an idiot that I stood beside a broke man for four years because of love and because of family. And now you're trying to paint me as a gold digger that I spent all your, your, I'm, oh, I'm in bankruptcy now because I spent everything on her. You spent everything on me. What do I have to show? Do I have a car? Is there an official lorry vehicle? No, 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 your Is there, do I have a business? No, your highness. Okay, because there's no business. I beg to have a business. He said, oh, lorries don't work. Does Oni's wife work? Oh, does so-and-so's wife work? Can I have a, please, I, I need to make my own money because you don't give me anything. I need to make my own money. I wasn't allowed to have a business because if I have a business, then I would be financially independent. Where if he's cheating on me and beating me, I would be free to leave at any time. So you want to keep me dependent on you. It's a, it's a mental manipulation. So, so that you can just do it anyhow. anyhow. So I wasn't allowed to have a business. All of you uh, women that are saying that I ate the Oba's food. I ate all his. I was enjoying his money. 15K Jilamia. <laughs> 2K earring. Ofi. 5K pack for Ofi. That's all I wore. I, w I got some lace from one lady in Oshugbo. Uh, Mofe, I, I got some lace from her. It took two months for Oluo to pay the woman her money. He didn't even want to pay. And then now, if you see Oluo, he's the one wearing the lace. I wasn't even allowed to take it. All these um, pastor, imam, new outfits that is that to look like a cleric or whatever that is the new image that is. That's my lace that he said the, the police was standing over me to say you cannot take it. That you embarrassed me in front of this woman. You didn't want to pay the money for this. You understand? I mean, I don't like to say stuff because you know you're about culture. No one wants to talk against a king. No, so no, no, no. Now say, oh, that didn't happen. You understand? So, but I know what happened and I know what happened to me. This is what happened to me. Your, your story is a very, 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 not just interesting, but very sad story because, yes, yeah, it's very sad because, it's very sad because when we look at you in the palace in those days, 
who used to look at you and say, oh, this lady is so gentle, she's so peaceful, and she's beautiful. You have a very rare stature, and you carry yourself with a lot of innocence, and uh, you are the only Olori in Nigeria that was not doing all these flexing and all that. You are just innocent, just gentle. I wasn't allowed. I wasn't allowed. Some days I would beg him, let me do a photo shoot. I saw all these alerts, especially the... I love watching the um, Oyo Olori's of Oyo Empire. I love watching them. They do the photo shoot and the makeup and they're this. And I'm like, please, I want to do that too. I want to, you don't need it. You don't need anything. You don't, I never ever had my makeup done professionally. Even now it's time of lockdown. My makeup, I know how to do it myself. I fixed my makeup because I had no choice but to learn with my house to pay a makeup artist 20K to do my makeup. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. If you, if you ask him now, bring out a, fo a family photo shoot of me, him, and the baby. There's not even a photograph of me, him, and the baby dressed in royal regalia on his throne. You see pictures of Elegushi and his family. You see pictures of Olori, um, Olori, um, uh, not even uh, one with babies. Um, Olori of Oyo with her son and uh, the, her twins and the beautiful photo shoot. I don't have that. It's like, well, it's like this marriage was just an illusion. It wasn't real. The whole relationship was not real. I only have five kids and two and three are not mine. When you have nine, you understand? Oh, I love my wife. My wife is the most beautiful. He was only doing that. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, but he loved her and she's so lucky and he's always using her to show off. That is, he's using me to show off. Off. Let me ask you this question. <laughs> you, you know, Your Highness, I want to cut you here. Why? How did you feel when he decided to put the crown on you? Because at that time, there a lot of analysts said, oh, it was wrong for somebody to put a crown on his wife or any other to put a crown on his wife. Can you tell us the story of how and why he decided to put a crown on your head? And how did you actually feel when he put that crown on your head? Because uh, it was a lot of stories here and there. And uh, I said you are innocent the other time. I look at the beauty. I just look at the picture now. I look at everything and I look at the crown on your head. What brought that decision about? Okay, I will say this about the crown. Um, it's all, let's just say, it's all, he, he was just doing pepe them. It's just pepe them. Pepe them gang. <laughs> Mosai gang. You know, <laughs> that's all it was. You know, um, my wife is the most beautiful. He's using me to just pepe the other women in his past. Oh, look at my wife. She's beautiful. Or to sometimes I would say, oh, this Olori is so beautiful. Oh, Olori um, Sekina, so beautiful. Olori um, Oyo Kingdom, so beautiful. Olori um, Oni, so beautiful. Uh, but you're beautiful then. You're from Canada. You're wearing crown. Are they wearing crown? You're wearing the crown. You're wearing, uh, and, you're, and you're Canadian. You're from Canada. My wife is from Canada. <laughs> you understand? I, you know what? It's so I'm, yeah, I'm, even, it's a comedian. I'm even regretting not talking to you because now I can laugh because I wasn't laughing before. Yeah, because that's what I was begging you. I was begging your people to laugh. Like every day, like what happened to my life? Oh my God. But now I can laugh. I look back and that's why it's important to heal. It's important. I'm not all the way here, but I'm healing every day. Gradually. Yeah, it's important because I couldn't laugh about these things before. And now when I'm looking back, I'm, it's like it's illusion. It's like I have to look back at this chapter and be like, it didn't even happen. Oh. My son every day, I want to go to my daddy's house. I want to go to, what do I tell my son? Oh. I called this man on the phone and said, please, can you, the, your son, he wants to talk to, I don't want to talk to him. And it's not my son. And I don't want to talk to him. And then he's telling people that I'm using the kid to get to him. But is it not the same kid why I stayed with you when you were cheating on me? Is it not the same child that I stayed with you when you were beating me, when you were doing your drugs in Canada, your hard drugs? I stayed with you when you're smoking your weed in the pal your Colorado. I stayed with you because I said, we have a child together.
We are building a legacy. Let's not, and that's why I stay. People will be like, eh, when you were spending his money, you didn't know he was smoking weed. You didn't know that he was, that he was a bad person. Number one, I wasn't spending his money because there was no money. Hmm. Number two, I knew he was a bad person, yes, but because in this culture, every time I wanted to get out of the marriage, oh, Lori, put it to God. You know, you don't leave your husband's house. Look at how many Oloris are being cheated on that their husbands are going behind them and doing things behind. Do they leave the husband? You don't, in this culture, you don't. You don't leave. And that's, and if I, and you know what? I said, okay, and I will put it to God. I will pray every day, pray every night. And then look what happened to me. Do you understand? But if I left two years ago, when the beating, when he disgraced me in front of all of Nigeria with this Omalara issue, it was all over the blogs. Oh, uh, the new queen and this and this. And there was even a, a woe online where people were mocking me and talking bad about Jamaican queen and all this. And I stay, and this is your girlfriend that you're sleeping with in my bed and her friends that are mocking me online. And I still stayed with you yeah. because we have a family together. Now, if I left at that time, they will now come and say, oh, she refused to hear about nice. And that's the problem. Yeah. She refused to hear about nice. Believe me, I be, I be hear about nice. To stay in that deep, deep in Oshun State like that for four years. No gen, no money, no nothing. A husband that's cheating uh, little girls that are, their parents are selling tatashe. Mm. Sleeping with them. Sleeping with them. Removing their pints and all that. Oh my God. <laughs> no, no, I feel so embarrassed. I understand. I have to, I, I can only laugh because at the time I, I was crying because I was alone. There was nobody with me. I was alone. The, even w one official, I will say this, maybe they will deny, who knows? But there was one official from Bowen University that came out, this was um, September or October 2019. This man spoke out and said, Olua was sleeping with different um, female students in the school. And ba 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 And Olua, and I knew it was true, but what can I do? I mean, I mean you, you, there's an unspoken silence about Palace. You understand? So unspoken what, silence about Palace. You, you don't talk about anything that happens inside the Palace. So when everybody's mocking me and saying, ah, but you were, you were enjoying, and you didn't say anything then, so I'm supposed to come and speak to Asabe Africa while I'm sitting inside my husband's house. It's not possible. It's not possible. This head official from Bowen University came forth and said that Oluo is sleeping with different girls in the school. Blah, blah. Oluo then, ah, you want to destroy me and my wife has left the uh, palace and you're destroying my marriage. This is October. Hmm. Oh, I, and I was sent out December. Hmm. Oh, my wife has left and you want to destroy my family and I'm a first class monarch and you can't lie about a king. That he, he dragged this thing he dragged that official to the, the university just now had to apologize to him. And that's what he does. He comes with all, ah, you're going to kill me. That you would just be like, okay, okay. Because you don't want his problem. You he intimidates want, people. He, 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 when it was, please, what happened to your other children? Let's go and visit the other children. You don't, she tried to kill me. You don't want that. So you just have to leave it alone. You have to leave it alone because people are saying to me, oh, he abandoned the other children and he didn't do anything. When you're living in his house, what am I supposed to do? If he's, ah, you don't know. And you don't listen. And you're probably, you're not listening. You're not listening. So what am I supposed to do? Do I want him to beat me? I want to have peace in the house. I want to have a peace in the house. When Olu, even when he gets like this, ah, you will just say, oh, where's your weed? Come and smoke it. Because that's the only thing. You, you just want him to calm down. That's what cools him down. You want, it will cool him down. And sometimes he will go crazy. And he will just be beating if you advise him. So when he was fighting daddy, uh, Chief Ogundogun, we will call him daddy because he's very much older than us. A man in his late 70s. He's, he's not in his 80s, 80s. He's in his 80s. He's, 84, he's yeah. not my mate. So you will refer to him as daddy. We, and I took him as a father. We took him as a father. Uh, the first time I saw you was in his house. In his house. 
in, 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 in first and his mansion. Yes, in his mansion. His daughter's daughter's. Marriage. You got it. It was him. And even pregnant. Dad. I was pregnant. Even that at the wedding, he took out two hundred k and gave it to me, just as oh my daughter. He, my husband wasn't doing that. You understand? It was, he was a father to us. And, and I played that role of his father. I cried to Oluo when he was start. He went in the public and he started uh, saying all these extreme dirty things about this man in the public. And I cried. I said, Why will you be doing this to daddy? Uh, oh, it's like he wants to beat me. Yeah, part of them. Yeah, 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 part of the enemy. Yeah, part of the If you say anything, you are a part of the enemy. Who is the enemy? Them. Who is them? The enemy. Who is the enemy? Them. Who is them? The enemy. It's like, what? You, nothing is straightforward. <laughs> this is what I had to deal with for four years. I'm going, you know, I'm getting irrational. I'm coming out of character. I'm going crazy, people. I'm going crazy. Well, would you like, would you like to find yourself in that situation again? Hell no. <laughs> There's a beating queen of you. I mean, with this same Obadiwala Kobi, who called it said the Telu one. <laughs> You understand. A lot of people have told me, don't say anything because there's a chance you people can come back together. It's not possible. You understand? I, and there's a, now it's reached to a point where I've seen what he can do. You went to the public and said, I tried to kill you. And then you know, you know in your heart it's not true. I even sent him a DM on Instagram one night in January. I said, please. Boy, this is new. You and I both know for four years, I never put my body with another man. I never put my body with another woman. No. I never put my body with no goat animal, nothing, only you. No. There's we're, we're committed we have sexually. 10 police that live with us. When we go to Canada, he comes with us. I the only time I went to Canada alone was when I went to give birth to my child. Anytime we go to Canada, he must come by fire by force because I'm not leaving you in this palace so you can start sleeping with cockroaches again. Because I left you once and you pull yourself with the cockroaches. Now they think that me and them are mates that we're on the same level. And then you will start looking at yourself. When you see the caliber of girls that he's sleeping with, they're just dirty and dusty and smelly. And it's like you look yourself in the mirror and be like, my husband seems to be attracted to cockroach. So does that mean that I'm a cockroach too? Like you just, it's like a mental manipulation in your head. Like, ah, am I a cockroach? Am I, what am I? You don't understand. Like you just be doubting yourself. Like, ah, like these are who you are sleeping with at night. <laughs> it's like, um, you know, when I went to the, one of his, his friend, a popular Legos monarch, we'll leave it at that. You know, and I, I went to him at the time of the, when he put me out the palace. Uh, and During the tri your tribulation? Yeah. Your initial stage of the tribulation? Yes. And I was talking to him and I was telling him, you know, he's trying to abandon my son and he's trying to do all of this. Yeah. And, you know, you are one of the people that helped to introduce us, you know. And, you know, he... He doesn't, you know, a lot of people don't want to be a part of it mm. because they don't want their name dragged through the mud. They don't want, and you are, you can only respect. Did, did they feel that you are fighting a peak? <laughs> you, you can't blame them because, you know, they work hard for everything they have. Look at um, Oni of Ife, his imperial majesty. We know his background history. We know where he went to school. We know where, what he did before he became an Oba. He was into real estate. He was into business. We, his, his, his past is in the open. Look at uh, His Majesty um, Said Ademola Alegushi. Very dignified, elegant, modern-day monarch. Respect him so much. We know his, uh, where he went to school. We know his father. We know his mother. We know where, where he worked before he became a king. We know how he met his wife. We know there's nothing we don't know about, but Oluo, we only know that he was brought up in Iwo. He left Iwo over 20 years ago and never returned until 20 years after he returned to now become the king. He was one woman, a high woman in a uh, strong um, government that helped introduce him to governments that now installed him, that he now betrayed this woman that is so innocent. Yeah. She so in it. All she wanted to do was help, and look what happened to her. Yeah, no one knows anything about him. No one knows. We don't know him. But what I, business was he doing in Canada? 
not a legal business not legal business we all saw the video that so oh, uh, you steal money before with credit card that now he will say that oh uh, the video is doctored you've seen the video mm. that video can stand in any court of mm. law But you've thief money before. Yeah, credit cards. That's, that's Yahoo. Yeah, no, it's it's still Yahoo. Yahoo. Anything you do yet. online, credit no, card, no, no, you, not, with the credit not. cards, you get the numbers online. Is no, Yahoo. No, it's, Yahoo it's, is no, anything that's 419. No, no, I don't do Yahoo. Yahoo is when you, when you write people understand you, man. It's different from. I'm telling you, the young generation, no, all of it is Yahoo. Can. That's credit card scam is different. So credit card scam is now Yahoo. Uh, yeah, I don't mean it's the bank money. Credit cards is the bank money. Use, yeah, don't you? Well, it's bank money. It's the bank money and they do them, they pay them back. Anybody they get their son, they pay them back. Law. He is not a doctor. He said it's not that he's not a Yahoo. That's just credit card. Yeah, What's the difference between credit card and Yahoo? But that was the video. He was trying to, and that's the thing. He has an excuse for everything that he does. He can explain his way out of. Uh, hellfire he so he's trying to explain in that video that oh he only thief money with credit card but he's not a yahoo boy he doesn't do yahoo yahoo but credit card is yahoo no it's not his credit card is not yahoo and that was the, and now he's saying that that video is doctored we, we if we bring that video in front of a court of law it will stand it's an eight minute video you only got to see 10 seconds of that video he was not doing straight business he went to tell everybody that i'm a 419 everything that he's guilty of he's trying to project it on me and this is if you look into narcissism I've studied narcissism when I realized I was living with a narcissist and a narcissist is a sociopath and so a sociopath is a mental issue where I was seen saying that he has mental he said that a, a coronavirus will be arrested in six days It's now 10 days is why we still not fighting corona. Was he fighting? Okay. He said, he said the old corona should will come to his palace. Yeah, corona, but you are walking around the palace wearing mask. <laughs> If Corona should come to you, you said Corona should come to you, then why are you wearing masks all around? Then remove the mask and come to Yaba and greet all of the victims. You understand? Then come and greet all the victims. Come and greet all of the... Come to... Um, go to a Nugu um, facility and go and greet the victims. But now, if Corona should now bite him or even come to the palace and say, Ah, Bao ni shalafi alewa. He goes, Ah, oh, my wife is trying to kiss my wife. Uh, my wife tried to kill me. You understand? You have a mental issue. You're a narcissist. You're a sociopath. You understand? You were, everything he's accused. He said, Oh, she's a 419. But you're the one doing 419. Did Olu okay accuse me of doing 419 Yahoo Yahoo in the palace? That was you. And you are, you are using the palace to do 419. You were, but you escaped it. And it's the same chief of Gundogun that you went to destroy is the one that helped you to escape that issue. Mm. You're a user. Mm. 